Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to fix any Bluetooth errors you may be having. If your computer is not detecting your Bluetooth device, then that is really bad and we want to fix that issue. To start off with, first you need to go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and you need to type in troubleshoot. You now need to click on troubleshoot. And you now need to scroll down until you see Bluetooth and we need to click on Bluetooth. We need to go run the troubleshooter and what this is going to do is it's going to detect any problems with our machine when it comes to Bluetooth. And as you can see, it has actually detected I don't have my Bluetooth device plugged in, which for me, that would be why my Bluetooth is not working. So I need to go ahead now and plug in my Bluetooth adapter and hopefully my Bluetooth will work. If you do have your Bluetooth adapter plugged in, or you've already got it built in on your laptop, then don't worry because we can go next. You should have a couple more options to run some more troubleshoots on this screen, but I cannot continue as it did not detect that I've got a Bluetooth device plugged in. If this still hasn't fixed your problem, don't worry because there's another thing we can try. And that is going down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and typing in services. You now need to click on services. And we now need to find Bluetooth. And straight away, as you can see here, we have Bluetooth hands free service and Bluetooth support service. If I just expand that a little bit, you now need to double click on the first one, which is Bluetooth hands free service and we need to change the startup type to automatic. Once you have done that, you now need to press start under service status, and this will change the service status to running, which is great. We can now hit apply and go okay, and we need to do the same for the Bluetooth support service. We just want to change the startup type to automatic, and we want to hit apply. My service is actually already running, but if yours isn't, then hit start again and we can now go OK. Now plug in your Bluetooth device or if it's already plugged in, give it a try and see if your Bluetooth is working. If it's still not working, restart your computer now as that will also help. It's always worth doing a restart when you're messing around with settings like we are. If you are still having problems, then the next thing to do is to find out what the Bluetooth adapter you're using is called and simply go on Google and type in your Bluetooth adapter model and download the latest drivers. And also, if you're using a laptop and the Bluetooth's already built in, then go to the manufacturer website of your laptop and find out your laptop model and then simply download the Bluetooth drivers for your laptop. And that is it for this video. I hope this video has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.